Hello everyone. So I'm back with a little um, working video. Me working on my current piece here. I've uh, been working on this for two or three days. Um, I'm almost done it. So I thought I'd film as so I'm finishing the piece. Anyway, yeah. So um, I got some new markers. Well, they're the ones I always use, but I got a bunch of new ones because it was amazing how much like my microns have lasted me. I've had like, I own like 30 of these and most of them have dried up at this point and I've been using them over the course of like six months. So they seem, and I've been doing a lot of illustration like like this, so it's amazing that you really last long. But anyways, I bought a new pack. So I bought just a, a three pack, which actually saves a little bit of money uh, because usually if you buy them individually, they're like $5 for, I think they're $4.50 each for my eye shop. Um, and the pack, I got three for 12, so save a little bit of money. Um, so I bought, these are great sizes to work with. I got an 05, 03, and 01. They are perfect for what I like to do. They're just like, they're not too thin, they're not too thick. They're good for small scale that I'm working with, which is a 16 by 20. And then I also have been loving Jelly Roll. Um, I like the white one for other illustrations, but the black seems to be working amazingly with what I'm doing. Most of this has the jelly roll. The, the, it's a bit thicker, but the ink is just so smooth. Um, the only thing is you have to be careful when you're working because it doesn't dry as fast as the... Well, this is like a archival ink, I think. Pigment, micro pigment ink. So, I mean, this dries like right away, but this sometimes it's much so you have to be careful. So yeah, this illustration is just kind of something that I've been working on and I just kind of wanted to do something fun and take a break from homework and commissions. So this is what I'm working on. Um, it's on illustration board. I love illustration board. It is just amazing. Um, it doesn't really warp. I mean, it's been warping a little bit at the top, but I think that's how, because I've been storing it weirdly, so it just warped a little bit. But I've been using this to hold it down. I have some tape, of course. And then, um, yeah, so I penciled in um, my lovely mechanical pencil here. This is just a Stadler mechanical pencil. And that works great. And then so I pencil all in my references. I've been using my book here. I use my phone a lot for references. Like I just keep things like flowers on there and skulls and stuff and that's what I use. Um, but I've been getting better at roses, so hopefully in the future I can start doing them, like, no reference, which would be really cool. Um, so there's just lots of little things, there's like a witch, there's a crow, the skull here. Let's see if I can zoom in. My camera's weirdly mounted on my window right now. It's being held up, it's being propped up by like an eraser. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can see a little skull there. Yeah, so what I have left to do is the background with the ink and then figure out what I'm going to put in here to fill it all out. Um, a few more details with the witch. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what's happening. This is just really like a fun little project. Um, and if you are interested in purchasing it, you can email me. Uh, I do do delivery, uh, shipping and stuff. So. Um, and then I've also been using some FDW ink to get the background in there. I've been using Copics, but I kind of wanted to use ink for this one because I'm trying to practice my um, gradients, which kind of worked out in this piece, but still I'm getting that splashy look. So I'm not as perfect, but I'm getting there. Um, for the ink, I use like tattoo, um, just like little cups. That usually when you get tattooed, you get little cups and they put the ink in there. So there's no, I put the any ink in that one. And then my diluted cup with the mix of the ink and the water goes in there. Cause this, it's really strong and I want it a bit weaker. So I mix a little bit of water to dilute it. Um, okay, so we can just start painting. And again, this is why I like illustration board because it supports, um, supports like oil and acrylic and lots of ink, Copics, 
you just put so much, so many layers, and I use, I use a lot of layers when I'm working, so it supports all that, which is amazing. Um, so I'm really just trying to put some shadow in there, especially this rose. And of course, I'm feeling that there's too much ink on my brush, so. And I'm just going to use this cup, hopefully. Still too strong. So, I feel happy with that amount. And I just kind of shadow in the rose. Roses are, are so hard, I'm still learning. They're just so many layers and shadows to them and, and where the light's supposed to hit it. They're really hard to do, but practice makes perfect, so. Um, it's snowing out right now. Ew. Not fun. I don't know, I'm just getting into more pen and ink because that's what I did all the time in high school. I just drew with a big pen. Like, see this thing? Where is it? This is what I learned to draw with, like just a black big pen. Buy like a bunch of them at the dollar store, and that's all I ever used was just like a little cheap hundred pound, or not even like a sixty pound drawing sketchbook. And I did a lot of work. Um, but now I mean I'm older. I have money to buy better quality pens. And again, the microns are they're amazing, so that's what I need to work with. Um, but I mean cross hatching and to detail that's what I really like and that's a reason why tattoo art appeals, appeals to me a lot just because of the detail and um, using little lines and shadow and stuff I really like black and white um, try to fill this all in And something about me, when I'm working, if I have the money and I have the time, I will get a little bit of wine. But like really cheap. Like a seven dollar bottle. So I'm almost done. Um I really like trying to get more smoke around the because I don't want it to not get enough attention. Again, I feel that line is too harsh, so. See, this is just light, light enough. You can see it. Just enough. And then the hair. I'm trying to see too dark. So I'm gonna like. That's why I always keep a cloth with all my pencils on it to keep them falling, from not falling off my table, but just to wipe off when I need to. And what I'm gonna do. Well, I can start doing now, but usually I wait till everything's done. Is take my white jelly roll, do some new tests, make sure it's like working. These ones are hit and miss, but I really like this for illustration. Certain details I can go over like that. I like this because it's a very opaque. The only issue is that probably won't be able to see it, but you, it creates this like little line, a divide, when you use it. And the white one doesn't seem to be very consistent. But, so I'm going to use that to highlight those areas. And these are so cheap. These are like a dollar twenty from where I get them. They're really good. Um, I did a previous illustration last week, and it was eighteen by twenty-four, so it was a big piece. And it was like this, but there was I think a bit more detail. And this whole thing, I think I had it, but that was how much ink I had left 
out of this for a big illustration, that's really good. Because I like doing movies again, so I need my ink to last a long time. Okay, so my drawing's mostly done. Um, I put another 45 minutes, I think, into it. I added another rose. And then I did some more shading, more detail. Um, and then I just put this little font here. It just says witchcraft. You can see it well. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna sign it. The last thing you do. My signature is pretty... It's a little... Anyway. Um, um, I was thinking of doing like flex of black ink, but I'm kind of happy with it is now. So I'm going to take some pictures and you can go check them out on my website and my social media and my Instagram and blah blah blah. I'm going to link all that below and there'll be pictures in this video. So um, yeah, I hope you guys liked that video and thank you for watching.